Hi, I'm Rhea. And I'm Brandon. And you're watching More Love with R and B. <laughs> and today we are talking about some dating ideas for you and your boo. That's right. Sometimes you can't always go out and do everything that you want to do out. So you got to figure out what you can do in. Yeah. It's very important that you try to keep the spice and the excitement brewing with you and your boo um, and not let money or time or the kids get in your way of having a really great night. So we have three suggestions. There are so many more, but three suggestions that we do um, when we want to date in and we don't have any ideas. Right, and just to be very clear, this is not just for the ladies, right? That's right. Fellas, this is for you guys too because it's very important that your spouse, that your wife thinks that you care enough about the non-physical side of the relationship, that you're willing to invest time in getting to know her and continuing to date her. Absolutely. So let's jump right into the three suggestions we have for date and ideas. The first one is Netflix and chill. Now I'm sure that you've heard of that term before, but we put a little bit of spin on it. Right. Let me get my props. Okay, so Brandon and I are movie people and we've seen so many movies. Um, so it's very difficult to find out what movie we want to see when we want to Netflix and chill. Right. So we created these little envelopes. And um, if you guys have Netflix, you know that there's like a, what is it called? The little thing inside? Search menu? Sure, it's like a search menu and it has all the different type of genres of movies. So what we did was we selected what genre do we want to watch and we would have to pick in here, so I'm gonna let you pick. Okay. And I chose... <laughs> romantic comedy, look at that, there it is right there, romantic comedy. <laughs> so that means we have to watch romantic comedy. So we'll go to Netflix, We'll click on romantic comedy, and then we would have to pick a number. So pick a number. The number I picked is seven. Okay, so we would have to watch the seventh movie mm -hmm. in the romantic comedy section of Netflix. So that kind of spices it up. You don't have to go searching through your Netflix menu, try to figure out what you want to watch, which kind of kills the mood, it kills the vibe. This creates some kind of excitement. <laughs> so we've done this several times. There are times when we pick duds, and there are times we actually pick something surprisingly good and interesting. We've picked a documentary before. Yeah, so the fun part about this is if you decide to do this, it's got to be something that you stick to because it is fun to pick something like documentaries or thrillers or even horror movies. And I don't even like horror movies, but if I pick a horror movie, that's like, okay, pick the third horror movie. And then we just put ourselves through it and watch it. And sometimes we just laugh through stuff like that. Yeah. The second one is the getting to know you again jar. So we've made this several years ago. Um, and we didn't want to take for granted that we still knew each other right. um, and that some of our preferences or things had changed. And so I thought it was a really great idea and I like looked on the web and found some questions. And so we're just going to read like three. We're not going to answer them. Unless you want to. No. We'll, just, <laughs> we'll leave that for us. And we'll leave that for you. But here's just some of it. Some of the examples that I wrote in here. I'll let you pick them. Well, thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Wow. This one says, how have I changed positive and negative since we've gotten married? Now, that is a loaded question. <laughs> and these are questions that, like, just now, if I pick it, then I would read the question and I would answer it towards my wife. And either she can answer the same question or I can take the jar and she can pick her own and then I can answer that one. So these are just examples. You don't want to take for granted that you know your spouse. You always want to continue to get to know them and re-know them and let them know that um, who they are is important to you. Right. 
And so yeah, and that's fun. Just set a nice romantic mood and start asking questions. I mean, I hope it doesn't turn into an argument, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, it shouldn't turn into an argument, but one of the things that I've appreciated about that particular activity is, you know, she was really good about writing down some really good questions and they were very thought provoking and it really opened up a lot of conversation for us and there's nothing better than to be able to openly communicate with your spouse. Sometimes we just get caught up in the busyness of life that time just passes you by. So to have something where you can sit down and just have open dialogue, good thorough dialogue with your spouse is just an incredible way to spend your evening. Yeah. Our third and final suggestion, if you will, is the actual dates in box. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Again, I created this a couple years ago when our babies were young and we definitely could not go out. Right. Um, I didn't want to have anybody watch the kids. I wanted to stay home with them. And um, I wanted to just still date. And I was like, what fun. It could be to date in with my husband. So as you can see, all of the envelopes are all open because we've done them all. <laughs> <laughs> um, Is like a good I, thing or a bad thing? It's, no, it's good because nah, I did this a couple of years ago when the kids were young. But we kept them because if we ever needed to revisit this, like it's a winter night and we're snowed in and we really wanted to go out, <laughs> we got the dating box. So we're going to read a couple of ideas. Um, I, don't, I don't know how safe it is to read some of these. I'm just going to pick one and we'll see <laughs> how safe it is. Okay. So, this one says... We'll, we'll that's for that's for that's us. For us. Okay. That's for us. Okay. Let's find another one. Let's research some DIY projects on Pinterest that we can do together. Now, I will say this: these are just for us. Whatever your preference is, obviously you can put your own ideas in there. Um, even if with when my wife says, "Oh, that's that's for me," it's still something that not only I want to do, but it's something I should want to do because we should always be interested in each other's interests. This is funny. Read this. <laughs> Let's pick a random movie genre and a number between 1 through 20 and then scroll through Netflix per the number chosen and watch that. We just, yeah. we just did that. We just did so, that. yeah. Okay. So, we practice what we preach. We try to. Yeah. Um, so, there are some romantical ones in here um, that we don't need to share with you. But um, there's also some that is just fun to do that you would never think about doing together. Right. And to do a project, like some of these are like about like, let's cook together, let's um, do some taste testing of food together, stuff like that. It can be really fun and exciting and it's something that you wouldn't necessarily think about doing at eight o'clock when the kids go to bed. Right. So there are so many other things, but just for the sake of time and for the sake of props that we currently had available. We wanted to show you what we do to keep life interesting when we need to date in. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any suggestions on what you do when you date in, please leave them in the comment section below. Please, and we will try to respond to as many as we can. And don't forget, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Yes. <laughs> we appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Bye.